Oh my goodness. Oh. Is he gonna... Okay, I'll go around you, buddy. Okay. I'll go Sorry, around mate. you, buddy. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no. Wow, look at that. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. So today is an amazing, beautiful day in the Northamptonshire countryside. The sun is shining, the summer is here, and it's a beautiful day to get out on the bike. <laughs> so today we are gonna be taking our adventure machine, Bumblebee, on his first test ride out into the English countryside. But we'll tell you more about where we're going when we get on the road. At first we have to clean up the mess here and get Bumblebee adventure ready. <laughs> yeah, look at everything that we are taking with us. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit this all on the bike, <laughs> but we're gonna give it our best shot. Uh -huh. So we're gonna pack up now and hit the road. Yes. However, will we pack all this up? <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three, two, one. one. <laughs> Now we are ready to hit the road. Rock and roll. On the road. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here we go, hitting the road for the first time. Amazing. The summer is coming. <laughs> so I'll tell you guys a little bit more about where we're heading today. So we are heading up to the Peak District which is uh, two or three hours north of where we are in Northampton. Um, we are going to meet up with a friend of ours called Andre. Now Andre runs a channel called Peak Motorcycles and he lives up there in the Peak District. So we're going to drive up to him today and tomorrow he's going to show us all around the Peak District and we might even get to do some off-roading for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment, I've just rooted on the Garmin here, the Garmin Zumo XT. I've just rooted up to a town or village called Leek, and that is up at the start of the Peak District. So it's a couple of hours up to there. So we'll just uh, take it nice and easy. We've rooted without the motorways so that we can just take the nice, easy back roads. You know, take it nice and easy in the English countryside, under the sun, and just have a nice time. We're also testing out on this trip, not just all our gear and our bike setup, but also our camera setup. So we have three cameras on the bike. We've got one on the handlebars, one on my chin, and a big one on a pole up at the back. So I'm hoping that between the three of them, we'll be able to capture all the beautiful detail around us, all the beautiful detail from all the roads of the world. Yeah, we are just using the time now to do some adjustments still because we will be living on the road or like in this way for the next probably two years. So I'm, gonna... I'm sure we will change a few things along the way, of course. Oh, definitely, definitely. It's going to be a massive learning curve, I think. I mean, you know, we've done hiking, we've done cycling, but we've never done motorcycling. And, you know, we're just going to have to test stuff out and see how everything's working. And, you know, I'm sure we'll find our system, a system that works for us. For those of you who don't know about our world record attempt, I'll just tell you a little bit about it. So in two weeks time, we are going to be setting off from the Ace Cafe in London to try to set the world record for the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle riding pillion. What oh, stinks here, hey? Did you smell that? Yeah, that's the countryside for you. That's the <laughs> smell of the countryside. <laughs> Woo. Woo. So there are like certain criteria for what it means to circumnavigate the globe, uh, but I won't go into the details. You can actually watch another video about uh, all the details about the record. Um, uh, we're hoping for the journey to take us about two years. Uh, we're not really in a rush. Uh, Guinness World Records don't really mind how long it takes you, as long as you don't stay in one place for too long. So yeah, if you want to meet up along the way, just send us a message. It will be absolute pleasure to ride 
with you guys along. We want to meet up with as many people as we can along the way. We've actually had so many messages already. We've been posting on Facebook groups about, about the trip and saying if you want to join us, get in touch. And we've had so many people getting in touch so far. It's pretty amazing the response we've had from the motorcycle community. So it's absolutely amazing. stopping for our first lunch break we've been driving for an hour it is a little bit of a workout yes <laughs> it, is, it is a little bit exhausting I think it's something we still have to get used to <laughs> yeah I do feel quite stiff I feel like I have done some sort of working out and I got like pressure on the head and on the neck and stuff and yeah we're gonna have to get used to that I think gonna have to get used to the feeling of like riding and uh, get our bodies used to it so <laughs> it's good that we're doing these tests that's for sure but we're gonna eat some lunch in the beautiful sunshine somewhere in the middle of the countryside and um, just chill out for a minute oh yeah look at this beautiful it's time to hit the road for our second leg. We are now entering Leicestershire. Welcome to Hinkley and Bosworth. Bumblebee is doing amazing. And you know what? I really like this lightweight gear setup we've got from Enduristan. We're going to do a video in more detail about the gear that we've got, but it's just all so lightweight that it just feels really nice, really kind of free to drive along with it all. Yeah, and thanks so much to the guys at Motorcycle World. They fitted the rear box yesterday and also fitted this uh, Garmin on the front as well. So thanks so much, Nikki at Motorcycle World for getting that sorted yesterday. It's getting into the late afternoon and we are coming into more hilly territory. I think we are nearly into the Peak District. Look at that view. Woo! Yeah! Nice green rolling hills. Oh yeah. We're going to be meeting Andre in about half an hour. I think he lives in like the north of the Peak District. So he's going to ride down into the south and meet us. And, uh, and then we're gonna have a little ride around before uh, we run out of daylight. So he's gonna start showing us around. Woo, there he goes. It's funny when you start to sit on the bike a bit more, you start to notice motorcycles. Like I never noticed them before when I was driving a car. Now I see every single motorcycle that passes and I'm like, motorcycle, motorcycle, motorcycle. <laughs> friend, friend, friend. Yeah, exactly. Friend. <laughs> You're always doing the nod, hey? Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful community. 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 Look at this view. <laughs> the rolling hills of England. That is nice. Awesome. Stunning. Yeah, it's such a good day for riding today. It's amazing. The tavern at Tansley. <laughs> well, there's a lot of lovely roadside pubs around here. Kind of place you can imagine. You're riding on your motorcycle. The cool summer's afternoon stop. For a nice water. For a nice bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the spring. Especially here in England, because uh, you have the blossoms everywhere. So yeah. you can see the nice leaves. 
the nice pink leaves. Yeah, and daffodils everywhere at the moment as well. Oh yeah, look, blossoms here. Yeah. Some nice pink blossoms. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow, there's such a nice town here though. It's very yeah atmospheric. Yeah, especially at this time of day. It's absolutely beautiful to drive through yeah. with the beautiful afternoon sun. Everyone's out and about sipping coffees and beers. <laughs> Mostly beers. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. What? The Peak District National Park. <laughs> we have officially entered the Peak District National Park. Amazing. We're here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, we're really in the National Park now. Oh, there's a sheep on the road. <laughs> you know when you're in the National Park when there's no longer a boundary between the sheep? Oh, there's another sheep, be careful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Is he gonna... Okay, I'll go around you, buddy. Okay. I'll go Sorry, around mate. you, buddy. Sorry, mate. <laughs> of the tent just here <laughs> yeah it would be a nice place to camp yes but it's uh, super cool because andre has said that we can pitch up the tent at his place this is the kind of place that motorcycle riding is made for <laughs> There he is, the man himself, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> How's it going, man? Good. good. <laughs> very good, very good. Yes. <laughs> we, we haven't practiced very well getting okay, off wait. and on the bike. Let me just. Oh. <laughs> look at that! Yes! And look, this is Andre's setup here. Look at this. BMW R1250. Amazing. Oh, amazing. All right. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Look at the cliffs coming up ahead. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, nice. Yeah, there's loads of like beautiful features when you come into the Peak District. Wow. And Andre lives here. That's such a cool place to live. Wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. Nice. Wild England. Oh, yeah. yeah exactly. We do have some cool cool places in England. Yeah. A little bit of jungle here. Yeah, look at this. Nice. It's like rainforest here. Wow. Look at this. In the valleys. Beautiful. Amazing. Love it. Oh yeah. Well, oh, you can feel the cold though in the valley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh my god. This is Castleton and it is such a cute little place. Look up on there on the hill. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, and okay. look at this, Ye Old Cheshire Cheese, Cheshire Cheese Inn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
That's awesome. That's a very cute place here. I just like the stone buildings. Yeah, you can imagine these places have been here for such a long time. Thousands. <laughs> Thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this. Wow, look yeah, at that's nice. Look at this place. Wow. Yeah, but this bike is just is just breezing up the hill. Uh, breezing. Like I'm not even like pulling the throttle. Bumblebee in action, baby. Yeah. It's the most extreme we've taken her. Nice. Stunning. Oh my god, it feels my heart with joy. You know, always when you have this like uh, five percent of doubt, and you think like, oh maybe you can't do it, or maybe it's scary, or maybe it's dangerous. Yeah. But then on the other side, when you see it, uh, when you experience it, you're like, there is no, not 1% of doubt or anything, you know? It's just like 100% this is what we want to do, this is what we're going to do oh, yeah. for the next years anyway. Oh yeah, when you head through a place like this, then you realize, wow, the places that we're going to go to on this bike. Exactly, it's just, ha, it's just mind-blowing. Yeah. We filmed so much that all the GoPros are dead. <laughs> all GoPros are dead. So we can't even do our like finishing vlog for the day on the GoPro. So we're just using like the iPhone. But uh, we've arrived here at Andre's place and it's absolutely stunning and beautiful around here. <laughs> <laughs> Andre has this light for us. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that does look better. That's, look at that, that's beautiful. We've got our own studio lighting here in the Peak District, in the High Peaks. It is amazing. Andre's dogs are barking. So we're going to go and say hi to them. Um, and we're going to go inside and have some dinner and pitch up our tent out here in the beautiful hills. Exactly. I'm excited. I'm excited. But so that is it for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed our first test ride on Bumblebee into the English countryside. Uh, we had an amazing day. Um, it has been a lot of riding, but um, yeah, we're super excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be exploring the Peak District National Park, doing a tiny bit of off-roading for the first time, um, see what Bumblebee's really made of, and just, you know, get out there and have some amazing motorcycling. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you subscribe, guys, and we will see you next time.